All right, as you guys know, I'm a huge weirdo. Yes. Right? I'm very odd. I do things very differently than most people. Very eccentric, uh, oddball person. And I'm very obstinate in my ways. I don't like to change the way that I do things. If I'm doing something in a way that works for me, I'll just keep doing it. Even if there's changes to the way things are done and advancements, I say, fuck all that. What works for me works. Why change? Here's a perfect example of that. I'm using a PC to stream and capture for the same for eight years, same exact setup. All right, I've only changed streaming software once in the eight years. I went from what was it, XSplit to OBS. All right, and and even then, in the last eight years, I only updated OBS once, and it was a few months ago to go to the latest version of OBS. Outside of that, I have never updated the PC. I mean it. This PC is running on Windows from eight years ago. Okay, now why is that? In my mind, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. If, if I can stream every day pretty consistently and we don't have many technical difficulties, which we don't, right? Why mess with the setup? Let it be what it is. Don't touch it. Don't mess with it. Don't screw with it. Just let it ride and use it and, and do your business every day. I pride myself on consistency and being here for you guys every day when I tell you I'm going to be. The fact I don't have a lot of technical difficulties is a huge positive for my business, right? <clears throat> now, it's called I'm, I'm lazy. I don't actually want to analyze anything. Way back when, when I started this whole rigmarole back on YouTube over a decade ago, I was very different from everyone else. Most people who were doing gameplay were doing and no exaggeration, this is probably what the vast majority of content creators do. All right. I have always been different. I'm a weirdo. All right. I'll, I'll be honest with all of you because some people ask me, how is your setup so weird and different that you have issues that other people don't have? Because I'm a weirdo. All right. Here's how I've always done it. I told you guys this back in the day. I'll reiterate it today. I do not feel that gaming should be something that you do hunched over a tiny gaming desk with a monitor literally a foot from your face, okay, with a million lights blaring on you, <clears throat> hunched over, you know, playing like this to be on camera for a stream. Now, I understand this is what the vast majority of content creators do. They sit at a gaming desk with their stupid circle lights and their lighting behind them to make them look like they're fucking in Cyberpunk 2077 and their little memeing shit in the background, the same camera, the same perspective, the same setup. They all do it exactly the same because they feel it's easy. This is also how a lot of them have green screen setups because they all copied each other, okay? If you haven't noticed, I've never done that. <clears throat> My philosophy has always been the whole point of gaming is supposed to be this is what you're doing to relax and have fun. Now, of course, there are games that aren't relaxing. Playing Call of Duty is not the most relaxing thing. It's quite competitive. Playing a competitive fighting game is not very relaxing. It's quite competitive and it can cause stress and rage. I get that. But in general, all right, <clears throat> I've always found that if you're going to play games, you should be having it in a relaxed setting. You should be sitting in a comfortable seat where you can sit back and be like, ah, this is nice and relaxing and, you know, I'm unwinding. I'm not putting my body into incredible amounts of stress or whatever sitting here. Uh, you should have an optimal audio setup, okay? I'll be honest with you. As someone who used closed headphones for many years, from 2014, excuse me, 2013, all the way through last year, all right? I used headphones, all right? I don't feel that's the optimal experience. I really don't, okay? <clears throat> and I played so many games with headphones, but I feel that when you're playing games with headphones on like that, you're actually kind of hindering the overall experience. I've always been someone who be believed in an open air kind of audio experience. I used to have it playing through my surround sound system in my living room while I was recording with a camera. That way, I got the true surround theater style experience that these game devs intended when they designed these games to have surround sound. Why are you playing an incredibly high-end AAA game with insane movie quality audio, but you're putting it through shitty stereo fake surrounds headphones? 
You're, you're literally hindering yourself with the setup, okay? We don't give a fuck. So, that was always kind of my philosophy, is if you're going to play games, you got to do it in an open-air environment, you got to be comfortable, enough with this hunched over a fucking PC setup and all of that. Now, today, I don't care how you enjoy games, but about a decade ago, I was an asshole, and I was like that kind of guy that was like, oh, my way or the highway. So anyone who did that, I made fun of, all right? I'm not going to sit here and make fun of them or whatever. But tons of people, I mean, we're talking thousands of people have made content like that and been very successful over the years. People much bigger than me, more power to them, okay? I don't like doing that. You were never going to see me become a full-time PC streamer over there in front of my PC, hunched over with a camera there with a the circle. I hate that shit, okay? Even now, as you can see, I, I strive to be different with my setup as I play games. <clears throat> But this leads to issues. Allow me to explain. <clears throat> Since I have a dual setup, I am not just using one feed from my console going to my PC and that's all I'm using. Quite the contrary. Here's how it works. I have a console. It goes to an HDMI splitter. All right? That splitter has two HDMI cables coming out of it. One goes to my TV. One goes to my PC. Okay? Actually, what really happens is it goes to my capture device, and the capture device goes to my PC. So I have an external capture card, okay? So how does that work? Well, you guys see the same exact visuals that I'm seeing. It's the same quality, meaning the same resolution, the same frame rate. We're seeing identical. has to be because there's an HDMI splitter. You're seeing the same signal that I'm seeing, okay? Audio-wise, you're basically hearing stereo because even today, well, even though YouTube tries to pretend like it actually does surround. It does not. <laughs> they claim, oh, it's full 3D surround. It's not. It, it's all bullshit. Whenever you put a video into YouTube, it really compresses the shit out of it. There's been videos that look so much better on my PC, and when I put it on YouTube, it looked like pixelated garbage, and there's nothing I can do about that. That's just using YouTube. You just have to get used to that. It's just one of the, what, what do they call it, the necessary evils of being a content creator is understanding that YouTube is basically going to be uh, compressing your content, making you look shitty. And there's nothing nothing you could be done about that. Because this is how it's always been on YouTube. They fuck stuff up, and now we suffer the consequence. Now, one final thing before we get started. As you've noticed, we hit our members goal for the month. Twice. We hit the first one and the second one. This is helping DSP Gaming get back on his feet after losing 300 members last month because of those false copyright strikes. Now we're down about 140 members, eh, about 120 members actually, from our, our record of 640-something that we had back in uh, August. Yeah, early August. That's awesome stuff. I can't wait. I'm having so much fun now. This is cool because I'm getting that positive, that positive vibe that I had for most of 2017. I'm getting it back now. But now, I'm getting that groove back, getting that vibe back. I'm ready for fun stuff. I hope you guys are ready too. So, this is good. For the month of October, all right, I am going to have a special event announced that if we hit a member's goal for October, it's something I've never done before. It's something unprecedented here on DSP Gaming. It's something that I feel would be very interesting. It's something that actually, when I thought about it, I was like, this would be an event I would actually really love to do. I think I will get a kick out of it. I will have tons of fun doing it, and I think you guys would enjoy it too, all right? I'm not going to spoil what it is, or I'm not. I'm not going to spoil what it is, but I think it's going to be a really great idea, all right? Maybe you won't see it that way, but the only clue I will give you is this. It will be timely for the time of year, and it's not Halloween themed, because why would I have a goal during October for Halloween when we're already doing Halloween stuff? So that's all I'm going to say. Timely for the time of year, but not Halloween themed, okay? I will announce this goal this coming weekend, live on my streams once we hit October, and I hope people will find this motivational to either become a member or give memberships to the channel, because I really want to do this event. Like, more so than probably any event, I'm serious, like, more so than any event, I think I really want to do this event. I think it would be really neat and fun, all right? So, more on that this coming weekend. So I'm sorry to create this anticipation and I'll make you sit in suspense all week, but that's how I am. I'm, I'm a little rat bastard and I'm gonna make you wait. No one cares.